I, when, I worked as a busboy once. It was the worst. I was so bad at it because I hate uh, people. <laughs> Bus boys hate people? No, I hate people. Right. I, I, I worked at a country club, and so it was just rich, uh, rich white uh, douchebags. And uh, I was broke, and uh, it was a terrible job. And one time I came out, and we had to build everything. So like, there'd be like, you had to put a dance floor together, and they put sectional walls up and carry these giant tables out. So by the time that the, the, the guests were there, you were exhausted and you were cut. We always like had the Band-Aids on. And we're serving food. It's totally gross. And... Um, I was carrying a tray out, and it had 15 or so uh, little silver coffee creamer, like, like, like creamer tins in it. And I, was, I had to put one on each table, and I knocked I, – I, I was so tired and, and like fatigued, I dropped it all over the back of a lady in a, in a, in a black velvet dress. <laughs> and everybody lizzes. We, I felt bad. She felt bad. The husband felt bad. Everyone in the world died a little bit. And, and the husband got up. And he just starts screaming at me. And I wanted to, you know, disappear and die. And if, if I, I'd do anything to make that not happen. I'm so, like, I'm, I'm just blushing. And this guy, he's, you know, he's about a head shorter than me, but he's this big, like, stocky little fucker. He just turns purple and he's like, you, God damn it! And he just starts screaming at me. And I, the, 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 the wife was covered in creamer. <laughs> I, I'm covered in shame. And I just look at the guy and I go, Enough. <laughs> And I put my finger in his face, and he kept yelling. I go, "Shut up!" <laughs> like, like your yelling is not making her happier. Like, 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 like you need. Like, like I'm going to murder you because you're you're making this worse. And then, and then I, uh, I called my manager a cunt, and I left. <laughs> <laughs> For those listening, Jeff just applauded himself. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening, I frequently am underneath the podium. I'm, I'm, I'm frequently applauding myself. I think every time I've ever quit a job, I've called somebody a cunt. That's, that's not good. Yeah. It's better in England, right? It's a, a, more of a terrible word here. Yeah. And I, me- I meant it to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I, worked, I worked at a Trader Joe's and just stole everything. There's, would, nothing, there's nothing worse you could call another, another man than the C word because it's a horrible word to call a woman. And then you're... So that you're calling a man, uh, uh, like I, when I've been really angry at, uh, in like kind of like, <coughs> like I can't even think of examples, but like when it's sort of like that primal uh, man on man rage. Yeah. Like when I really want a guy to feel really terrible about himself, I call him the worst word you can call a woman, which uh, is interesting. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's kind of the opposite of interesting. <laughs> it's like the most obvious thing in the world. What was the last job you had, that, 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 like before a writer, like the actual like like a nine to five or like a, like a actual job job? Jeez, the last time I I, I I mean I I think it was a, as a data entry clerk. I think that was my last real job. I think after I quit that, I was like I can't. Because uh, I, I, I was uh, I just run down my curriculum vitae. Is that how you say that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of a lot of resume r- r- writers here uh, that, that have that on their CV. Uh, the uh, I was uh, I worked as a caddy at the at a country club. It was awful. The, 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 like you're working for like way sub minimum wage. You have to get like this permit that allows you to be working for not really any money at all. And then so you're just reliant on these tips. And it was like. It's a Milwaukee country club. It wasn't like it wasn't like they were just like throwing fifties around. Like they would just give you a dollar after I, I, you. I've had caddies before, like in nice courses. I friends are good golfers, and I, I get to go play with them. And the caddies are actually like they help you read your putts. And they, like, <laughs> yeah, they, they tell you what club selection they give you. Do you have any golf knowledge? You, <laughs> you... I would just fake it. I would go because 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 the guy would go like oh you know like like I remember I remember one triumph was the guy going like uh, so what do you think like. Uh, uh, five wood, and I, and I was like, eh. <laughs> I was like eh, three, three, huh? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he, and then he, hit, I remember that was, the, and then he hit it, and, it, and he got on the, uh, got on the uh, across, across this uh, body of water. It was like there was like a river between the thing. I don't think he got on the green, but 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 he he, he was like it, it landed, and then he was like, huh? Oh, you were right. <laughs> And he, he said, if I had used a five, I would have been swimming. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd have been wet, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then you'd need to get a snorkel, snorkel porker out. Snorkel porker. 
Uh, but you, you, you had to you had to clean their clubs with a toothbrush at the end of everything. It was like 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 you you haul their clubs. That's some heavy shit, dude. Like like a bag of golf clubs, uh, uh, and then and then for, for, uh, sometimes eighteen holes, and then like get 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 it back to the so called caddy shack, which is not as fun as it sounds, uh, and, uh, and 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 wash the fucking grass stains out of the out of the r- ridges in their clubs for forty minutes with a toothbrush, and then eventually one of them they'll come over and they'll give you a dollar. A dollar? Well, this was back in the forties, right? <laughs> this, this, was, this was Carter dollars. They were they were they were, they were they were they were they weren't worth as much, but there was also no oil. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, my longest job was a dishwasher at the uh, rehab center uh, in Milwaukee. I would wash dishes. Uh,